and welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons Pioneers of All Town. Alright, let's continue working on our crops. So yeah, basically once I'm done watering here, I think the only thing left to do is... A, I still need to find a sheep. Because they're supposed to spawn, I believe, in the second area, but I didn't see it my first time through. Maybe I'm blind. But yeah, we'll go see if we can find ourselves a sheep. And then after that, all we really need to do at this point is kind of save up, I think, silver and lumber to get some upgrades. Oh yeah, right now we're working on a town request, aren't we? I'm still debating on which one to use. Either, like, supple lumber or bricks. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of actually... Uh, so the problem with using lumber is that we're going to need lumber to unlock a lot of new stuff soon. So, bricks might be the way to go, just because we don't really use that many bricks, to be honest. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And by we, I mean I. I'll figure it out. We do have enough lumber at this point. You know what? Screw it. I'll be right back. <laughs> Man, the pet derby was fun, wasn't it? Also, what the heck is it with the Ori and the mirror in the back just giving us a side eye? I... Never, I for completely forgot that, yeah, when they zoom in, they actually zoom in. Like, they don't do, like, a separate cutaway or anything. You can see people in the background still. Also, it's nighttime. Alright, yeah, you know what? I'm doing it. We could have done the bricks, to be honest, but at this point, I kind of just want to get this out of the way. All we really need to do is to get more lumber is just go and maybe cut down a couple more trees. Because honestly, lumber in general is more just like a time commitment more than an actual, like, material commitment. I guess the same can be said of bricks. But I feel like lumber is a lot easier to get because it's literally everywhere. In fact, the majority of the time I have way too much lumber. Here, give me an omelette for dinner. I'm going to do a bit more work tonight. But yeah, I still need to figure out where the heck the sheep are. Like, I could have sworn we did a sweep of the second area, didn't we? Well, whatever, I'll go take another look. And then, yeah, I think after that, the main thing is going to be taking stock of what we have right now. And what we're going to need to, like, unlock a couple of, uh, the new structures in the third area. Hey, buddy. Okay. I'll also have to make sure I get everything sold off later. So let's go take a look. So yeah, the sheep should be somewhere around here, right? It's right there. How did I not see that before? It's white and fluffy. Did I not actually search this? I could have sworn I searched a second area, but I guess not. Well, whatever. We got ourselves a sheep now. So what are we naming you? Uh, So we named the alpaca, what, Bluebell? So I guess you would be... You would be Konohana. I still don't know why I decided to name all my freaking animals. Oh no, I named the uh, chicken after Bluebell. Whoops. Well, whatever. Yeah, I'm still not sure why I decided to go with the whole town names theme instead, but it works. There is a surprising amount of towns in the series. Alright, well, whatever. We got ourselves a sheep now. Yeah, how did I not see that before? I guess I'm, I'm thinking it was hiding behind a tree and I just wasn't looking properly. Oh well. Oh, I see a silver rock. I'm gonna need silver. Because at this point our farm runs on silver and... Well, mostly silver. We need silver for pretty much all the upgrades, I think. Either silver or lumber. Like, I'm still debating on what I want to upgrade first. I th or upgrade fix first. I'm thinking that the stable would be a good choice, just so we can get a mount around the farm. Because there's a surprising amount of walking. The, uh, the silo would be good, but that's more convenience than anything else. It's not really that important. The one I am really heavily leaning towards is the... Uh, the last bridge to the mines. I really need to get over there so I can get some gold. You know what? 
I think this is gonna be the first one we go for. I still need silver. But lumber, on the other hand, well... That's not gonna be a problem. Okay, it might be a bit of a problem because these take a lot of energy to cut down. Am I out of inventory space? I'm out of inventory space. Oh, I'm gonna have to pick the- wait. Oh god, I'm gonna have to pick them all up one at a time. Oh, this was a mistake. Uh, hold on. I really wish that once you empty your inventory, they would just immediately get picked up like normal, but no. Gotta do it one at a time. Okay, we're good. Also, when did a stable- or when did the, uh, silo get covered with trees? Hold on. I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna do a little bit more and then we'll go home and go to bed. I just want a lot of lumber going through the makers tonight. It's still gonna take a while because the makers are pretty slow when it comes to like... This is supple lumber, right? Yeah, supple lumber. But yeah, think about how painful this is when at launch before they let you stack things in the makers. Because here, this is like no problem. We can just stick it all in there and just let it go overnight. Ooh, and a silver rock. I do need that. Like I said, silver and lumber are the two things we need the most of right now. I don't want to go back to the silver mines. I feel like I just left the silver mine. In fact, I'm pretty sure by the time I'm recording this, I literally just did the episode with the silver mines. Oh, another silver rock. I just want to go home and go to bed, game. Just stop giving me stuff. I'll recruit you eventually, Mr. Horse. they will make going around the uh, farm a lot faster. Although, once we get the horse, I think that's when I'm going to really go in and just start, like, actually putting down roads everywhere. I also want to get rid of that pond at some point. Yeah, I also want to clean up this area, too. God, things get so messy once you don't have stuff down. Okay. Uh, let's start cleaning... Or not cleaning things up. Let's start selling a few things. Probably should have done this before I went out there. And let's get some stuff in the makers. Also, yeah, I still need to clean up my inventory. Not or not really clean up so much as just get everything in the proper place. In fact, hold on a minute. I think I'm gonna put all my lumber and like process materials on the left on the right chest. And then like all the raw materials and random stuff like this wooden fence in the left chest. Alright, you know what that'll do for now. Do I have anything else I need to put in other than more wood? Nope. Those are still going. That's still going. Alright, it's time for bed. Oh yeah, I need to check the weather too What before bed. I don't think it's going to snow or snow. It's not going to rain anytime soon. Really hope it doesn't snow anytime soon. So yeah, sunny today. Sunny tomorrow. Sunny on Thursday. Or uh, Tuesday. Oh, actually, one more thing before we go to bed. I never actually checked the calendar, did I? My birthday's in two days. How did I forget about that? Summer Jamboree's on the 14th, and... Fireworks is on the 22nd. Oh, and tomorrow... Or not tomorrow. Next week is Laura's birthday, so I need to make sure I give her something that day. We did a lot today, by the way. The first few days of a season are always the most busy, because there's just so much you need to turn over. Alright, but now that things have, uh, we've done most of our, like, important work done, let's get back to watering and work. Also, new summer music, by the way. I always like the summer thing. well, I'm still not sure which one I like more. I either like the summer themes or the winter themes the most. 
Well, I, well, nowadays I tend to prefer the summer themes. I think the main problem I have with winter themes a lot is that a lot of them are very Christmassy sounding now. Like, I still miss the days of, like, Friends of Mineral Town where things were, like, real... Winter was, like, more of a somber season. But yeah, after that, things tended to get more Christmassy during winter. Alright, let's keep watering, take care of everything, go take care of the animals, and then... I'm going to avoid going to the silver mines as much as possible. We'll just try to just rely on things on the overworld for a while. But one of these days, we are going to need to go back. Also, I think I'm going to need to get rid of some of this, uh... Some of these trees that are growing in the animal pen. Oh yeah, I need to go to the Earth Sprite Village later. Yeah, like, some people have mentioned that maybe going in, like, every couple of days is better. I'm still not convinced of that. At least not early on. Early on, I still want to go every day just to get them levels. Because I feel like right now, just getting them leveled up so they can get more rare stuff is more important. Everyone gets a brushing and a pet. Oh yeah, I should throw these in the cloth maker, actually. Also, now that we have more animals, it might be time to start thinking about expanding the, uh... Start to think about expanding the pen a bit further south. Well, right now we should be okay. Honestly, if anything, I would get rid of the... You know what? I'm gonna get rid of these. Those are what's really taking up space. We'll find a place for them eventually. Probably just place them around the area, just make it look nicer. I really need to get rid of that pond and those trees. Also, did I ever... I just realized, did I ever want to go to the museum and donate that one picture of the uh, weasel we got? Or sorry, stout, whatever it was. I don't think we did. Also, why did it come over here? We don't have anything to do there yet. Alright, let's head to town for a bit. I still need to upgrade my bucket, too. Ooh, that's gonna require more silver. Although with that, we should be able to drain ponds faster. Which is a good trade-off. And we do have the money now, right? Yeah, we have the money. You know what? I have a lot of fodder, too. Where's my silver? It's over here, right? I think I'm gonna go upgrade my bucket. Oh, I'm also gonna go get this opened up. That's been sitting in my inventory for way too long. Those are still going. Okay. Oh, right, before we go. Where's my cloth maker? It's over there. Oh, speaking of cloth maker, what? Oh, this is a textile maker. Wait a minute. Could have sw Am I using the wrong maker? I am using the wrong maker. I always forget there's a specific yarn maker in this game. Because, let's face it, textile and yarn are pretty much the same thing. Yarn is a type of textile. Okay, well anyways. One other thing I wanted to do is make a dye maker so I can finally get that quest done. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're going back to the silver mines later. I have no idea how people actually like this, if people actually like this, the mining episodes. They always feel like filler, and they're specifically not filler. Like, it's very important work that we do down there. It just sucks. At least in this game, it's not RNG based. But yeah, we need to make some white dye, which means... We are going to need white flowers, which I don't think I have. We might have to go buy some. God, yeah, I really need to clean this area up. But yeah, we need white flowers for that. Okay. I think we're finally good. Let's go. 
Okay, now we're finally good. Let's go. Oh yeah, we also did the town request, didn't we? This was for the uh, mascot. Oh, no way, no. This wasn't for the benches, right? I mean, I have done more in the last season than you guys have done for what I'm assuming is your entire lifetime. Great. I've become the guy who has to do everything. Are we gonna get a cruise ship in here? I feel like that would be a bit chaotic. That is a surprisingly short cruise ship. Don't, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. Uh, of course. <gasps> There's a cow behind us. Oh! There's a free cow. What is there a cow doing here? Ah! Well, we did need a mascot. Okay, usually when people do mascot costumes, it's more like... It lo you can tell there's a person in there, but... I think that's just a hollowed out cow. Well, uh... Listen, if we want to attract visitors, all we need to do is advertise. We need to show everyone about our brand new high-tech benches. Hey. Also, give me a silver bucket. Oh, that took all my silver. Yeah, we're gonna need to go back to the silver mines. Alright, we'll do that later. But yeah, if we want to attract everyone to town, we just gotta tell them about all of our new improvements. Like, we have streetlights. And benches with backs. And other stuff I can't think of right now. Oh, gold, gold, gold. Wait, hold on a second. Is that enough gold? I didn't think we would get that one that early. I thought that came later. Seed maker. Uh, we have the gold. Ooh, we do have the gold. I still need more gold for obviously all my other tools and stuff, but we do have enough gold now. So what do we need now? We need a uh, solid logs, which I think we have in storage and supple lumber. Oh my God, we can make a seed maker. Okay, we're going home right now. Well, actually, no, before we go home, I should probably go see my girlfriend. Well, we're not really going out yet, technically. Because that is an actual thing you need to start. Because it's a more Hello. modern uh, Story of Seasons game. So we need to go steady before we get engaged. Okay, I haven't donated this yet. Here we go. It's kind of blurry, and it's mostly covered up with weeds, but it's fine. There. And then let's open this up. Seriously, why do we need them to appraise it for me? I'm pretty sure I could just open up the bag. Cave pearl, well... You know what? I do want to befriend more people. Have a cave pearl. That's always one problem I've always had with playing these games. Like, usually my first or second playthrough. Well, usually first. I don't really do a second playthrough unless I'm LPing it, but... I feel like a lot of the time I just don't really befriend anyone except for the people I hyper-focus on. So I kind of want to fix that a bit this playthrough. Like, maybe actually interact with more people, talk to them as we're going along, except for maybe the kids, because we're going to be talking to them a lot. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to be honest. If someone replaced all the benches in my town, I probably wouldn't notice either. Like, sure, it's convenient, or sure, it's, like, nice, but it's not really a huge eye-catcher. 
You're close today, aren't you? Yep, alright, we'll get flowers tomorrow then. Or if I find a white flower out and about, I'll probably grab it for the dye. Honestly, sure. Go on vacation. Go to the other towns in this world. If you want a list of towns that you can go to, uh, just come to the farm and take a look at the barn and the chicken coop. Alright. So let me see here. Do we have the solid lumber we need? Well, we have normal logs. Uh, I think I'm gonna need more. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more. Okay. Oh, all my makers are being used right now. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We'll do this later. Let me uh, also grab the materials from here, too. Like I said, I'm mostly here just... Oh, did I get it already? Huh. Wait, no. When did I get it? Oh, wait, no, I think I was late on getting it tomorrow. Okay, you know what? We'll come back tomorrow then. I think I was late on getting it yesterday. So it hasn't been 24 hours yet. Okay, I feel really bad for the grass sprite. There you go. Alright, well, now that we, have, we can get the seed maker, that does change a lot. So we're going to need to actually start focusing on crops some more. So once, like, some crops come in, we'll start clearing things away a bit more. Or we'll start, like, cycling through higher-level crops. So that eventually we can get the really high-level crops and get the really good stuff. But first, yeah, we're gonna need some lumber. Oh, and yeah, I think all of my lumber makers are filled to capacity, too. So this might be a bit... Unless I make another lumber maker... I'm considering it, but maybe not right now. Alright, so what do we need again? We need... How much uh, charcoal do we need? Okay, no, why do we need charcoal for this? Ten. Perfect. Okay, so now all we need is... Oh, no, it's supple lumber. Oh, wait, no, we have supple lumber. For some reason, I thought we needed solid lumber. No, we only needed that for the uh, charcoal. Also, what do I have in here right now? Nothing. So I should have the lumber I need. Yep, there it is. Yeah, one of these days, like I said, I'm gonna completely reorganize my inventory. Alright. Let's get this made. So now that we have the seed maker, that literally changes how we think about planting crops. It's kind of amazing just how much of a difference the seed maker makes in this game compared to other games. Entirely because of how the uh, crop grading or crop like ranking works. So I need to get rid of this tree. Also, I didn't keep an eye out for white flowers. Maybe we'll go take a look at that later. Alright, so how this works is basically, hold on, let me uh, empty my inventory real quick. So basically we need to decide what we want to plant then. Potatoes are still in season, right? I think we might focus on potatoes first. Wrong button. Spring, summer, and winter, perfect. So this is literally why I kept so many, like, quote-unquote high-quality potatoes in storage. So, I want all of these four-star potatoes. Well, maybe not all of them. Eight should be enough. I'll probably still go through my one-star potatoes just to get them out of my inventory and clean up a bit. But... So that's going to give me, what, two... Yeah, two fields of level four seeds. The only problem with the seed maker is it takes forever, which is why I'm starting immediately. It's about 23 hours per seed. 
So yeah, honestly, I'm not a second seed maker, so we're probably still going to try to rush for the gold mine. But now that we have this, it's going to be going constantly. Do I want to use this right now? You know what? No. There's still one thing I want to do. And that's, I want new clothing. So we're going to be converting this into uh, textiles instead. Never mind. That's not till later. I'll just stick it in storage for now. Also, I really should go just give these to Laura, see if she actually likes them. If she doesn't like them, that's fine. They'll be out of my inventory either way. Also, I'm gonna put this down. Just to also get out of my inventory. But yeah, with that, I think we might wrap things up here, because... I'm probably gonna spend some time off- you know what, I'm gonna spend some time off screen doing the silver mines. Cause yeah, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day down there getting as much silver as humanly possible. If I'm gonna do that, though, why am I still carrying sugar around with me? I always forget to put this away. Okay, whatever. So anyways, next time on Let's Play Story Seasons Pioneers of All Town, hopefully we'll have enough silver to do more stuff with. So, till then. Wish me luck.